Page Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up. Hello, how you doing? And welcome once again. I've been missing in action for a few days. Been just trying to get some stuff together, a lot of stuff to get done, a lot of little bit like paperwork and stuff doing, trying to prepare for February the 24th to be in Europe to get this this ball are rolling and things are jumping. So you see the thumbnail, you see the topic, the accessibility and affordability of cycling. It is crazy. So there are several ways in which the bike industry can contribute to the disadvantaged individuals and the disadvantage. The disadvantage and the disadvantage. So let's get that clear. But before we jump into things, really quickly, just uh, if you could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Make sure you're getting all the latest uh you know whatever i'm talking about because i'm gonna this this next week i'm just gonna as going into the new year i'm just gonna fire it up man i'm just gonna speak man i'm just gonna say what needs to be said so in the background the picture you see in the background is a race that they have in kenya and i know a couple of the guys that are in this race uh jordan schlack and then uh uh charles uh, is charles in this race i'm not sure i'm not gonna say charles is in this race because i'm not sure but i know jordan schlack's in the race and he's the only person that i know so i said i know some riders uh not <laughs> so we're going to talk about the industry and then i had an interesting conversation with chat gbt i should have named this my conversation with chat gbt that's what i should have named it but i had a good conversation with chat gbt chat gbp chat gpt there we go and like you know accessibility and and you know just getting some feedback but i kept getting like it was it the whole thing is like the the chat is trying so hard to be diplomatic and not say the wrong thing. Like it's trying to offend somebody. I don't care about offending anybody. We just want the truth. We just want, you know, what is. Let's let's speak about it. Let's speak about it. So let's jump into this real quick. And just letting you know that you see the logo that's on my, uh, this is done by, this is done by uh, Color. Color, what's it called? Sorry, Super Color. Sorry, Super Color. These are my guys. This is this is who I use to do all of my t-shirts and 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 whatnot. So I'm gonna show you. I got t-shirts. I've been printing them up like crazy, and like yo, just hit me up. Uh, all you gotta do is send me an email, and I and I like I can just invoice you, and we can you know make payable that way. So and this is all to support the future of the International Youth Cycling Academy, which I am gonna make happen. So let's get into this. So I got this on my phone. And as I started reading, accessibility and affordability. There are several ways in which the bike industry can contribute to the disadvantaged individuals at a disadvantage. One of the most significant factors is the accessibility and affordability of bicycles for individuals living in low-income communities. The cost of purchasing a new bicycle can be prohibitive. Uh, additionally, the, uh, the lack of well-maintained bike infrastructure in these areas can further limit access to safe and convenient cycling. Furthermore, the market and promotion of high-end bicycles and cycling gear can contribute to a culture of exclusivity within the cycling community. This focus on expensive equipment can create a barrier for those who cannot afford to invest in such items, further marginalizing disadvantaged individuals. Additionally, the lack of rep re representation and diversity within the bike industry and the cycling community can contribute to the exclusive the exclusion of disadvantaged individuals when people do not see themselves reflected in marketing materials, events, or within the industry itself. It can create a sense of not belonging or discourage participation. Moreover, the graphic divide in access to cycling inf infrastructure also pays ex plays a significant role uh, in affluent areas and uh, oh, okay moreover the, the geographic divide in access to cycling infrastructure also plays a significant role affluent areas tend to have uh, better maintained bike lanes trails and facilities while low-income areas often lack the resources the lack of infrastructure can uh, deter individuals from cycling uh, mm, Perpetuating a cycle, a cycle of inequity, inequity. Perpe perpe <laughs> perpetuating a cycle of inequity. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Be with me. Addressing these issues requires a a, a multifaceted approach. 
initiatives that focus on providing affordability and accessible bicycles to low-income communities can make a significant impact. This can uh, include programs that offer subsidized and free bicycles, as well as efforts to improve the bike infrastructure and safety in these areas. Furthermore, the promotion of cycling as an inclusive and diverse activity is essential. This can involve uh, showcasing a broader range of individuals and marketing materials supporting community events that cater to diverse populations and encouraging inclusivity inclusivity uh, within the bike industry itself. Uh, advocacy for equitable di distribution of cycling infrastructure and resources is also crucial. This includes pushing for investment in bike lanes, trails, facilities in low-income neighborhoods, as well as efforts to ensure that these areas receive the same level of attention and resources as more affluent areas. Finally, education and outreach programs can help address barriers to cycling for disadvantaged individuals. This can involve teaching bike maintenance skills, providing safety training, and often support uh, for those who may be new to cycling. Overall, addressing the ways in which the bike industry perpetuates disadvantage. Uh, is that perpetuate? Yeah, perpetuates disadvantage requires a concerted effort to promote accessibility, inclusivity, and equi equity within the cycling community and beyond. By addressing these issues, we can work towards creating a more equitable and accessible environment for all individuals, regardless of their socioeconomic status. So that was a little something that, I, you know, I've been just mulling over stuff, just mulling in my head, like, you know, what's going on. So that's like sort of like the political, politically correct sort of take on it. And some of it, like, I'm, 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 I wrote it, yes, but it's just like, it's not entirely what i feel so i'm i'm gonna get into like the accessibility and like the affordability the more more the affordability but right? if the affordability is there then the accessibility follows so in for i'm gonna use formula one as an example the formula one cars they do all types of updates and upgrades and and uh cuts and curves and and uh stuffing all types of types of things to like you know to make the cars go faster and like all like electronic and technical technological advances just to make the cars fans faster and faster and competitors have to keep up to be competitive but guess what guess what you don't see all of these super hyper advances on the everyday car for the everyday person now there are cars that you can buy that have some of these features that cost out of the that have out of, out of these out of this world cost but you know that's for an exclusive few and it, that exclusivity is not like super in like super 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 demand it's like um running or running shoes it's it's this it's something that everybody does. So, you know, running shoes, you have running shoes that cost ridiculous prices like Kenya West and his shoes or Balenciagos. Or you can just go get a, you know, a nice pair of Pumas. And, you know, for like 60, 70 pounds or dollars or 50, you can even get a pair of Pumas for like 40 pounds or US dollars, uh, even less. And, and good shoes that last a long time. But, you know, so that's what I'm trying to... Uh, equate is that's just like some some sense in in the market so right now there is no sense in the market and i'm gonna point to the uci because i think this is the dumbest uh rule that they have where they say that the bikes that the top of the the guys at the top of the sport doing the tour de france the world championship or the olympics or whatever like the guys the best of the best the manufacturers, when they make these advances on their bikes, when they're on the track or on the road, whatever advances that they make have to be available for the p for public. Now, the public, for the most part, they're paying their TV subscription, like whether it's Eurosport or GCN or whatever, so that they can watch the best of the best compete and, and really perform. So they're already paying, like, you know, whatever. It, it's not much. They, they'll they pay that so that they can watch these guys do whatever they need to do. So let, let them 
for for the, for the, for the most part they're performing so why not let them perform on the best of the best like the formula 1 drivers let's let's just let them go out there and perform and then then but the the UCI has this rule where the bike that the Tour de France winner is wearing must be available over the counter to the public some of the bikes so let let's 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 just I just want to show you the prices of some of the bikes. I mean, we're gonna come in. Ooh, there we go. Let me make that a little bit bigger for you. Oh, wrong thing. So let's look at the price of some of the bikes. So we got the Ribble at 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 ninety nine hundred, right? This is a little smaller, so it fits in the screen. We got the Ribble at ninety nine hundred. Nine well, ten thousand pounds basically. We got the BMC road machine road machine at nine thousand. We got the well eight thousand eighty three hundred or eighty five hundred rounded off. Then we got the another BMC road machine at eighty one, you know eight eight eighty two hundred. And then uh the factor and the fa and the thing about the factor it costs a lot more than this. This says an X display model, so it's a bike that was on display, so the price is reduced because it's been all around people's touching and all that stuff. Which bike's still gonna ride fine whatever but you know it's been reduced because it's obviously going to have some whatever maybe a few blemishes on it here and there but look look at the prices this is not the price for the, the average person so and, and and some of the bikes that the guys ride in the tour cost a lot more than this because they have like these special wheels so you could take any one of these bikes and put these thing called these wheels called lightweight wheels it's a a really like it's a super it's lightweight firstly that's it's called lightweight for a reason but then on top of that it's the like when the first wheels came out there was a bamboo combination but i believe they're all carbon fiber now they might still have some of the bamboo in, but they were really you know this is a really nice wheel set and some of the 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 wheel set goes for like i think it's like three 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 grand five grand something like that no 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 sorry 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 the wheel set goes for eight grand, seven, seven something. Yeah, seven something. So it goes for eight grand for the wheel set. So you take any one of these bikes and then you add another 8,000 pounds to it. That's just ridiculous. Now, let's look at this bike. Let's, I got another bike. I'm going to gonna gonna get rid of you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. So here we have this bike. This is a Cannondale and it it comes in at 59 599 it's got regular rim brakes no disc brakes on it uh, uh looks like tiagro on it a tiagro group set uh regular spoke wheels it doesn't have the fancy carbon carbon uh, rims alloy rims on it just a basic bike now a bike like this it's 599 it's no reason why they're like, you know, like like this bike shouldn't be like massively available to the public and accessible. So a lot of kids that are hitting me up from uh, different countries in Africa, from the Caribbean that need stuff, they could do quite well on something like this. And then when they get to that elite status, then they get the elite bike. But it's being pushed like the market is pushing people like like they have to get get this type of stuff. Like wh why do they why? If if you can go, go just as fast on this as the really nice bikes, and people's going to be the oh the, these tires are faster or these wheels are faster, uh, I, let me stop you right there right now. In I believe it was ninety four, I had a Kelly steel bike. It was custom. The frame cost me seven hundred US dollars. By the time I built the bike, I spent fifty. The group set yeah cost about a grand. So I spent like about 17, 18 to get everything together. So just under 2000, I was racing elite. I was racing in the pro one category in the US of A. So I needed fairly good equipment so that I can race with the big boys. So I could be competitive. I didn't need, I didn't need no 8,000, 10,000, you know, dollar or pound bike. I just needed good equipment, good solid equipment. I had a custom steel frame made by Chris Kelly, one of the best frame builders out there in California and in, in the US of A, good old USA. Really good bike. I mean, the bikes he made me a track bike, a road bike, and a time trial bike. And those bikes are still rolling today. 
still going fine. So why they phased out steel and pushed towards carbon and, and you know, whatever, whatever, who cares? But that bike is still going and running just fine. Now, here, here's the story. I went over to the good old US of A, did some racing, got a lot of racing in, got fit, and I came back. And the current like, time trial champion was, I'm going to say his name was Greg Hopkins. Greg Hopkins, Greg Hopkins was whooping everybody's butt. He was a top triathlete. And uh, yeah, he the guy was just whooping everybody. I came on my road bike. All I did was put tri bars on it. He had the zip bike, the zip like with the, the soft the soft ride uh, seat, the suspension seat on there, like was super fast and more comfortable, like the aerodynamic uh, uh, disc wheel in the back, uh, like four inch carbon. Like he, like it was, I don't think it was carbon, but it was just definitely a deep, a deep dish, uh, not deep dish, uh, a, a deep rim. Uh, I can't even say it probably, but like, you know, like the high profile, like a 60 mil, 60 mil or 80 mil rim like before they really got popular and a few spokes in it and that bike was fast that bike was it was beautiful and it was fast and basically you know most guys that in the race were entered like they they feel like they felt like they didn't have a chance but i came back on my road bike and i did i handled my business i put like three minutes in him three minutes on the bike did you see the bike that you see on the screen very similar to this this bike this bike is just alloy my bike was steel it, my bike was not much different from this. Had rim brakes, no disc brakes, and all I did was put some arrow bars on it. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to tell a lot of people what it comes down to. It doesn't come down to uh, like how nice or how good the equipment is. It's 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 what you do. It's the work you put in. If you prepare yourself, and 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 yeah, if you prepare and you put the work in, you, you'll go fast on just about anything you ride. So this is today's topic. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get off of this because I don't want to be too long. I want you to be able to like take everything in and like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you think. Um, I just I just think it's crazy. I, I, I wish that some common sense would come into uh, just the whole cycle industry. And, and I think the cycle industry would grow like in leaps and bounds. Because the cycle industry is struggling a little bit, especially the the pro part of it, the the part that we see on TV and stuff. They they would like a lot more people like uh, participating and doing more things, and and they really are pushing to. It's not even a matter of you know uh, inclus inclusivity inclusivity. Is that the word? Is that the right right word I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's not even that. It's that that they don't want the sport to die. So, in order for the sport not to die, you gotta reach out to different countries and different types of people. But if you're gonna do that, you gotta make it affordable, affordable for those 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 folks. But anyway, let me get off of this. I hope you um uh, enjoyed that. So that was um me. And before I go, remember Super Color. Super Color are the people that do my my labels. Check them out. Uh, this one. So let me see what I wanted. What I done in this. I put a little thing on the on the sleeve as well, and then also I try to like style this one up a little bit. Let me see. So I'm gonna try to do something a little different with the the hoodie itself. Come on. So if you can see like the things right. There. So when you put the hoodie back. And it's up there, so it, it's just going to read up the right way. It'll be up, so when you, you see it from the backside, just try to do something a little bit different. So, um, and last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing before I get out of here, just to let you see. So, let me get rid of you, buddy. Thanks. I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And what do I want? Hmm. It's not. There we go. This is what I want. So basically, that's the black t-shirts. I don't know if you're interested in the black t-shirts. The the two hoodies on the so the hoodies like next to the hat and the black hoodie, those are the hoodies. Those are those are my giveaway. So I will be giving away those in the new year and as as the hat as well. And 
the thing is, I keep going to try to pick them up because I just took a picture of the table next to me. So I, I think I can pick them up and show them to you. But then the hoodies is basically what the hoodies are going to be like. I'm going to be doing the hoodies with this, like what you see on the screen, what I'm wearing now. So I'm just, I, I like this a whole lot better than it being big. It just looks a little bit, bit more pro. Like, you know, let me know what you think. Um, so there it is. There's the t-shirts. And the t-shirt, I should show it to you because it's got a, it's got the logo on the front, but also on the back of the neck. So, yes. Yeah. So it's like where the label is, but on the outside. So it looks pretty dope. But anyway, let me get off of this. And what was the last thing that I needed to do? really really quickly oh it's right here so vice card vice card is what i use i don't use a business i don't use like regular business cards i use vice card now what is vice card vice card should be the last business card you ever buy and so that's the vice card you can see there's a little nfc a uh, little thing up there in the right corner so it's like the where the nfc chip is and basically when someone comes up to you and says you know let me get your information get your name and number and all of that stuff you just take the vice card and you just tap it on the phone and and all the info pumps up let me see if it's going to work uh you can't even see the screen boy so you you, you cannot you put it in the back and then it man it's not ooh, it's too bright so it, it did work surprisingly so this should be a whole lot better. So you see you see that screen. Put it in the back. You see that pops up. You touch that. And all all my inf all info comes up. You can't. Ah. Can so. So basically, your link tree will come up. My whole link tree, everything comes up. Uh you can't see anything. Anyway, like you so, saw, yeah, you, you can't see anything. I have to take a screenshot of that and put it on the screen. But anyway, folks, remember, Vice Card, last business card you ever buy, super color. If you need your to to print, if you want to print up your own T-shirts and hats and everything like the stuff I have on the screen, super color. This is if all everything you see on the screen, well, not everything. The two hoodies with the the big uh, in the black and in the. Uh, the ones the one in the black one in the middle and then the one to the left the one nearest to me nearest to my face so those those two are printed by someone else uh and to be honest i didn't like them so that's why that's why they're at a giveaway so and you know most people like free stuff for so giving those two away but everything else is going to be for sale so they had to give away as well too so yeah you know new year's coming up somebody's going to get it somebody's gonna get it anyway peace out i appreciate you remember to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and you, this is what we're going to be doing we got a bunch of new stuff i gotta get into i'm gonna get into the news and let you know what's going on inside of uh just the, the world of cycling just some a lot of stuff going on cyclocross has been mad this week cyclocross we, we're going to talk about that again it's a lot it's just a lot it's just a race every day so it's a lot going on And uh, that's it for us. So we haven't been bringing you any coverage of the cyclocross because I got a copyright strike for, for showing the races and stuff. So, yeah, it just makes it weird and hard to like, you know, so, yeah, so I haven't been doing that. So anybody that's been looking for me to bring you coverage of the like cyclocross that's going on, apologies. And as we go into the new year next year, this time we will probably have a different way to bring you you know what's going on in the events and everything so alrighty pe people thanks for joining me i will see ya on the next video next video next video next video should be good we're going to be bringing you some good stuff